Good evening, everyone. Ooh. Hello, hello, hello. I hope we're all doing well this evening. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Tonight we are playing a wonderful little game called East Shade. Now, I actually don't know anything about this game. Um, my boyfriend suggested it to me and I looked at the trailer for about four seconds and was like I need to buy this immediately oh my goodness I really want to play this on stream <laughs> so here we are we're playing this on stream courtesy of boyfriend <laughs> uh, but basically as far as I understand it's um we play as a character who is a traveling artist and or a painter I think we specialise in painting with the easels, you know. Um, we are going to an island full of anthropomorphic animals, and that sounds like the best night ever for me, quite frankly. This game, as far as I understand, is quite relaxing, quite calm, quite gentle. So, I'm looking forward to it, I really am. It's gonna be good. Hello, Flicky Dicky. Dots on stream loading was in tune to the piano keys. Perfection. Perfection. Thank you very much for reminding me, by the way. The, the, the BGM... <laughs> For tonight's stream is provided by Stariatic, as always. Wonderful as they are. They label their music as copyright free, and that's a very, very, very generous thing to do. So I always like to put a link everywhere I can. If you want to check them out, there's a link there. Alrighty, now I'm going to transition over to the game. This isn't going to be as smooth as I want it to be, because the game doesn't quite behave. It's sort of... If you're not focused on the window itself, it doesn't play any sound, so this just might sound a bit rubbish, but that's okay. We've sounded worse before. <laughs> well, the captions working. Oh, they are wonderful. Right. So that's that. Hello, Sapphire. How are you doing? <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Right. Uh, press this button here. This button here. Wonderful. <gasps> ah, we can use a controller. I was just thinking as I was getting my tea ready. I was like, Do you think this game sports controller. So I just plugged it in, and well, I guess it does. Wonderful. That makes it a lot more relaxing. Alrighty. Let's get started. What is your name, Traveller? Now, this we might have to actually use a keyboard for. <laughs> Our name shall be Stroll, for now. Because of course it will. Of course it will. Right, I'm going to let the introduction play, and I'm going to sort out my tea, because it has tea bag in it still, and it would like to not have that. <laughs> it's kind of warm at the moment. Ah, there we go. Um, oh, worry. Uh, so I didn't... I'm, I'm not really... Um, having much tea at the moment, but I just it just felt like such a calm game. It felt like a cup of tea would be appropriate, you know? Okay. We're in a little ship. Nice, very cute. Hello. I have played this first introductory bit for about 10 minutes, just to make sure it's a game that A, I can run and B, I can play and want to play on stream. Welcome on it. Hello. Oh gosh, what are my camera controls set to? Uh, invert Y axis. Let's try that. Yeah. I can't tell if that feels worse or better. Let's stick with it. It feels a bit better. God, I've only a bit. <laughs> Forgive an old woman, but I forgot your name. Hello, old woman. What was it again? My name? It was. It was that. Would you mind getting my book from the sleeping quarters? Mm -hmm. It would spare my bones the trip. It's called Great Voyages. Great Voyages. Sounds wonderful. Let's go help an old woman. Yeah, my camera is definitely not the way I want it to be. <laughs> I'm. First of all, very bad at remembering what X means and what Y means in terms of which is up and which is sideways. Um, and I'm also very bad at remembering which I like to invert. Okay, here's the book. Oh, well, goodness me. I thought it would be more relaxing using a controller. Turns out I'm just bad at using a controller. Alrighty, great voyages. Seas of the North are wildly unexplored. Predict these waters are expansive and small expeditions have revealed numerous islands filled with diverse life and communities. Mm hmm. Due to the unpredictable and violent nature of these waters, many ships have been lost while attempting to form new contracts and carry out scientific research. I guess we're in a North Sea, then. Hello. Me too. I'm glad I'm not alone in this. <laughs> Hello, old lady. Thank you very much. Or old woman, sorry. I've read this old book many times. Seems I find something new each read. And no matter how many times I've read it, it never fails to get me excited for adventure. Are you the adventuring type? Aww. Uh, are we the adventuring type? Not really. I mean, yeah. 
we are we are i guess yeah for ah, now. After not, my not own heart, especially adventuring but you know i've had a lifetime of it believe it or not if you're sticking around in east shade maybe i'll tell you all about it sometime sorry you can definitely hear my teeth spoon Captain clanking Elena around told me we'll be landing in lindo shortly lindo i think we're all antsy to arrive mm-hmm We've learned a new topic. We can talk about it with people. Wonderful. All right. Who have we got down here? We've got this wonderful person who's reading a gorgeous-looking book. Look at that thing. Ah, oh, it's great. Do let me know, by the way, as always, if the uh, volume is too loud, especially I've this game. It's new, so don't really. I've heard wonderful things about it. Mm -hmm. Did you know that the people there used to cover their mouths with garments? Uh huh. I've heard that since gone out of style. Uh huh. It's quite a strange fashion fad, if you ask me. Okay. As long as Ishe doesn't rock like this ship, I will love it. Okay, so Mishka is not very fond of traveling on ships. That's understandable. Uh, Lindo. It's the quaint little seaside town we'll be landing in. Mm -hmm. It's one of the many gems of the country, I hear. Ooh. Okay, bye. Almost there. Almost there. Oh. Hello. Ooh, that did not sound good. You're right, dear lady. That did not sound good. Ah, okay. <laughs> Aha. Also, are we like in uh, Morrowind, by the way? <laughs> Starting on the underdeck of a ship. This feels a bit. <laughs> okay, so, um. I guess I'll just stand here politely and drown. I don't <laughs> okay, I think we're okay. Well, maybe we're not. I guess we'll find out. Oh, oh, that wasn't voiced. Uh, it was something, something. Did I ever tell you about the trip we took? Tell me again. Of all the trips we took, that one was my favourite. You know, if you're ever looking for painting inspiration, I know. Tell me you'll visit one day. Promise you'll go. Okay. <laughs> Think of you exploring East Shade makes me happy. I know you'll find inspiration there. What an adventure you'll have. Some places you absolutely mustn't miss. Be sure to paint the giant tree. I remember it like it was yesterday. How will I know which tree it is? You won't miss it. Okay, good. <laughs> and the Atifmo Bluffs, the lovely sky country. I can put you there, an easel set, and you making a beautiful painting. So yeah, from what I understand, we're basically going around making paintings. And that sounds really cute. That sounds amazing. These open skies and endless seas would move any artist. Okay. And the city. Ooh, there's a city. Magnificent building in the center. From the very top floor, you can see the whole town and more. Oh, you should get some rest soon. Mother... Oh. Mother's last wishes. Well, that's a context clue. <laughs> Degothur welcomes you, Jol, to the place where paintings are made. Welcome to Eastshade. Look, as long as it's not a painting that I can climb into and then get killed by painting trolls, <laughs> You've woken. I'm okay with it. Hello, friendly monkey friend. God, just a little cave you've got here. Do you remember what happened? Hello, Ingolf. Um, I was traveling on a ship. It collided with the reef. Memories intact. You washed up on this beach just a short while after the ship sank. One doesn't last long in water this cold. Mm hmm We are in the North Sea, apparently. Well, an a northern sea. No, but yeah. I assume it's a cold one. Uh, did everyone else make it? From what I've heard, you were the only passenger misplaced during the wreck. Hmm. The others are safe in town. Oh, that's good. Where are East we there? of course. Specifically, my home. Nice. I usually don't take visitors. But in this case, I can hardly blame you for floating in unannounced. Yeah, I didn't really have a choice, I'm afraid. Only your reason. Uh-huh. Don't forget to take it when you leave. Even the frigid tide couldn't bring you to part from it. Mm. it must mean a great deal to you. Apparently it does. I won't forget. I'm about to head into town to share news of your survival. You should go there and let them know yourself. Mm -hmm. It's just up the path. Okie dokie. Thank you for the help. On your way, then. Bye-bye, Ingolf. 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 It's a cute little cave, isn't it? It's not much going on. Got a bed over there, got a, a chair and some books, some apples and a crate. What else do you need in life? Ooh. Uh, uh, okay, so we have inventory. Oh, blimey. Oh, yes, we've got all of these. Drinks, books, equipment. Blimey neck. Blimey neck. And then we've got paintings or canvases, of which we don't have any. And then that's those there. And that's journal. Ah, right, okay. So help no woman. We did that. And mother's last wishes. Visit a giant tree, a city, and another thing I've forgotten already. Okie doke. Let's head out. Oh, did I get stuck on a rock there? Hello? Oh, it's such a gorgeous place. Look at it. Oh, wow. 
I've got a planet in the sky. Ooh, can I run? Does that just zoom in the camera? I think that just zooms in the camera. I don't think that's a run. Oh, I've got a, I've got a painting on canvas button. That's exciting. Oh, I've got a jump. <laughs> it's only a short little hop, but it's, it's, you know, it's something. God, there's birds everywhere, aren't they? They're really loud, aren't they? So pretty it is, isn't it? It's lovely. I can crouch. That's exciting. I can run. Ah, I've got a run button. Ah, oh, look at this place. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at all the trees and the butterflies and the flowers and the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so cute. Hello. Is this the, the village then? It must be. Ooh, it's a nice building. Look at the little archway. This place is beautiful. I guess this is... Li yeah, there we go. It's Lundo. Hey. Welcome to Lindo. Ooh, we've got one compass star thing. Two, three. <gasps> inspiration. Making paintings draws, uh, drains inspiration. Gain inspiration by exploring new places and trying new things. Oh, interesting. I'm already in love with this place. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I can't quite explain how, but it's giving me mist vibes. Mist is spelled M-Y-S-T. Those are a series of games I've never really played, and they're quite old now. But for some reason, the, just the style of the buildings and the island is giving me mist vibes. And I can't explain it. Oh, look at that floor. That's gorgeous. <laughs> what a pretty floor. Dear me. Totally getting it. I was going to get two. Ah, wonderful. So those are some games I should maybe go back to, but then I feel like if I did, I would be even more confused than I did the first time. <laughs> I played those games when I was very young. I did not. It was not a good idea. <laughs> Alrighty. Ooh. Hello, dear friend. That bit of grass there is a bird. Oh, it's a child. Hello. Oh, it's you. You're on the ship. Oh, uh, we're the ship person. What happened to you? Hello, Alaya. I washed up in a beach cave. Oh, thank goodness. We thought you were lost. Oh, what a horrible experience. I'm so glad to see you're safe. Mm-hmm. What brought you to East Shade anyway? Um, wanted to see a new place, here to paint the landscape, and oh, my mother loved it here. Oh. Uh, we want to see a new place, right? Very adventurous of you. Mm -hmm. I came to visit my family. You look like you could use a nice cup of tea. Oh, thank you. This flavor is a bit strong for some people, but the effects can be lifted with a sip of water from your water skin. Oh, thank you. Got a cup of tea. Our captain is in a terrible state. Mm -hmm. I suppose that's to be expected. Yeah, it would be. Mm, she won't even leave the dock. Perhaps it would console her to know that we all survived. Mm-hmm. You should speak with her. I will do just that. Um, where are you staying? My family lives here That's in Lindo. That's a personal question so to ask, but... staying with them. Mm-hmm. If you find that night is coming and you're in need of a place to stay, you should check the inn. The inn, You'll Got be it. comfortable there. It gets cold around here at night. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't be out without a proper coat. Oh, okay. Um, we could talk about Lindo again. After that wreck, I may just settle down here for a while. If you just had a door open and close, my boyfriend has just walked in with not one, but two sandwiches. And I'm a little bit jealous, quite frankly. All right. Are you wondering about anything else? Uh, I think that's it, a liar. I don't think we have anything else. Take care. See you later. This place is gorgeous. <gasps> is that a buffalo or a cow or a... They've got a chicken. <gasps> Ch Hello, chicken. Oh. <laughs> All right. So here's the question. Animal people and animals. What? <laughs> Can these ones talk or are they just some animals not sentient? I don't. It's not. Do you know, let's not think about it too much. Hello. Ah, a new cop. Hey, Tifa. In the future, if you're ever in need of carriage to Nava, mm -hmm. I'm your driver. Ooh, we got carriage. Nice. Take me to Nava. No, thank My you. My ox is strong, no? <laughs> I'm sure your ox is very strong. They've got gorgeous painting on them. That's wonderful. I want some sandwiches. Me too. <laughs> I had, when did I eat? It was like five o'clock, half five. And I'm not fully hungry yet. I'll definitely have something after stream though. Aren't I good at flying? Yes, Lenny the deer. You are, you certainly are. You're very good at flying. Thanks. My dad says that I can do anything as long as I put my mind to it. Mm-hmm. Your dad sounds like a good person. Have fun. Being a, sorry, being a bird. Okay. Do you know what? As long as he's having fun, why, 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 you know, interrupt that? 
Look at this door, it's so fancy. Sorry, if you keep seeing me, like, <laughs> trying to look at something and moving in the entire opposite direction, it's because I'm an idiot with the controller. Alright, okay. Ooh. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna shut the door behind us. Hello? <laughs> Who's there? Nika? Is that you? Uh, um, <laughs> no. You must be one of the tourists. Sure, that's me. Terrible about the sinking and all that. Mm -hmm. Glad you're okay. Yada, yada, etc. Uh, but will you go get Nika, the innkeeper? The innkeeper. I need help. Uh, okay. Why is there a jug on your head? <laughs> Glad that's a question we it's can ask. stuck, obviously. That was my question. Now, would you be so kind as to go get Nika for me? We can do that. How, how does that even happen, though? It, uh, it, it happens. It's fairly normal, really. Uh-huh. Doesn't it happen to you from time to time? I can't say I've ever had a jug on my head, <laughs> but seriously. But seriously, will you get the innkeeper? <laughs> okay. Brilliant. I'll wait here. Okay, you... You... Uh, <laughs> you wait there, jughead. Oh, bless him. So cozy, this little house. Oh, look at it. The little, oh, look at the bed. Oh, this bed looks gorgeous. I mean, probably very uncomfortable, but absolutely gorgeous. It's got like a bunk bed as well. Oh, the roof. Honestly, just the roof is pretty. So cute. I had a vegan burger for dinner around six. That sounds so fucking good. Ah, it sounds really good. We've got some like... Ooh, what is that? Just a weird shiny pointy thing. Um, we've got some... Quan nuggets in the fridge. I might have some of those for supper, to be honest. I might have some of those with, like, beans and peas. <laughs> that sounds good. That sounds real good. Hello? <gasps> oh. I don't know why, but when I click on the doors, I'm expecting there to be a loading screen, and there just isn't. There's, 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 I don't know what I'm expecting. This place is so cute. Oh, it's... Do you know what I love? It's so bright. Like, it's not dark and gloomy, it's bright and cheery. I mean, it isn't nighttime yet. We've, you know, it's the first day, but it's just so light. Even the insides are light. It's just, oh, it's beautiful. Hello, I presume, innkeeper. You must be the traveler from the wrecked ship. That sure is me. Uh, a cave dweller rescued me. Oh, good. Ingolf needs some visitors every now and then. Mm hmm I wish he would spend more time in town, but he'd rather be alone. I sound like Ingolf. <laughs> Do you live in Linda? Yes, I run the inn. I always keep a full stock of soup and tea to refresh weary travelers. Haha, -ha, soup and when tea. I, was young, oh. I traveled all over this island. I'd love to adventure again one day. Soup and tea? This game's amazing. Oh, we can pick topic up browse goods. Oh, we can say Eshan needs oh, you. Of oh, course he does. Eshan? And what is Eshan. It this time? He has a jug stuck on his head. Again? <laughs> That's like the eighth time. Uh -huh. All right, then. We'd better go help. Right, yes. Let's go help. Does this frequently happen? Is it a common occurrence for jugs on heads? I mean, apparently. Eight times, I'm told. Oh, oh. There we go. All right, let's go sort out this jug head business. It was grocery shopping today, so I had a lot of new vegan options stuffed in my freezer. Oh, that sounds good. When you've just, like... When you've got home from shopping and you're, like, cupboards full, your freezers are full, you just sat there going, what do I eat? I've got so many options, what do I eat? Like, I've got this thing, I've got this thing, all these new exciting things you bought. Oh, that's, that's the best. Stuck, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's pretty stuck. <laughs> I think what we need here is some soap. Uh-huh. Would you be a dear and fetch some soap from Amin's house? Mm -hmm. It's just down the stairs and across the courtyard. Amin's house across the courtyard, down the stairs. Okie dokie, let's -a go. Leave the door open, hope you don't mind. Uh, down the stairs, across the courtyard. That one? Might be that one. Let's go find out. Hello? Are you Amin? A lovely house. Oh, it's blue in here. Uh, oh, look at that window. Oh, with the light coming through it and the food. Oh, I'm starving. <laughs> Hello. Hello there. Can I help you, traveller? Oh my goodness, you're an owl. Hi. Oh, I love you. Can I borrow some soap? Soap? Well, certainly. <laughs> May I ask why? Sorry, that was my first response. Um, it's too weird for words. Or oh, Essan's head is stuck in a jug. Let's just be honest. He did. Hmm. Is he a friend of yours? Um, I barely know him. I think he's an ass. Or oh, we're acquainted now. I, I mean, we're... Through circumstance, we are acquainted. Ah, well... 
I shouldn't gossip then. Mm -hmm. What's the dirt? We can ask what the dirt is. Okay, look, what's, what's the dirt He's there? He's just such a peculiar man. <laughs> and you know what? I think Lenny is going to have some real issues when he grows up. Uh huh. Why is that? Well, you've seen him. The boy is unhinged. Is Lenny the one that was running and not around? Just that. Because he sounds I've cool. I've been hearing a lot of yelling coming from that house. Mm hmm. I think it's quite a broken home. Oh. You know, I imagine you'll be traveling all around this island, being a tourist and all. Perhaps when you get to Nova, you should let the sheriff know about Isan. I think it's only right. You know, for Lenny. Mm. Why don't you? Well, it's a small town. If word ever got back to Isan that I was the one that reported him, things might be a little awkward, being such a close neighbor and all. Mm hmm. You should be the one to report it. <sighs> of course, you're right. I suppose it's a bit selfish of me to worry about a little awkwardness when it's a matter so serious. That's not quite what I meant. I'll head over to Nava as soon as I get the chance. Okay. Right. Well, here's some soap. Thank you. Safe travels. I wasn't... I, I don't know if I like this person now. Like, I know, yeah, we've only just arrived here, but from what I understand, the person with jug in head, or head in jug, and the child, they seem like nice. Like the child's running around pretending to be a bird. What the, what's wrong with that? That sounds amazing. You are Lenny, aren't you? You are, yes. <laughs> You know, he was saying, oh, my dad says I can be anything. That sounds like a nice home. I don't live near them, so I don't know them that, but, you know. Alrighty. Hello. You have the soap? I do. Well, let's try this thing, then. <laughs> Here, let me have that soap. Give soap. Car, Lenny, 2021. Wise words, Lenny. I think we can all agree. Yay! Well, I guess it was convenient that you dropped in when you did. Yes. Uh, thanks for getting Nika. No worries. Esan, um, how did you get your head stuck? Well, you are a nosy tourist, aren't you? I am. Beeswax. Huh? Um, Emine says she heard yelling from your house. Emine? That nosy, stuck-up, goody, two talent. Uh, if you had to deal with what I have to deal with, she just doesn't like me because I'm not posh like her. Mm -hmm. This whole town is stuck up. Them and all their judging eyes. Oh. You know what? Get out of my house. Oh. You're just like everyone else in this town. Coming in here and telling me I'm a bad father? Get out. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't say you're a bad father. I know that's what you meant. No. Oh. Just get out. I don't think you are. I think you're doing good with this. Okay, bye. Let's just leave another. <laughs> it's for the best. Bye. -bye. Enjoy your life without joke. Okay, Lenny, you're cool. Alrighty. What's this inn called? Inglenook Inn. Oh, it's cute, isn't it? Oh. oh. Hello, child. Hey, are you an artist? I am, yes. Hey, you have an easel. Are you an artist? I am. Uh, yes, I am. So am I. Do you want to see what I made? Uh, yeah. Okay, sure. Look. Aw. Uh, we can say, what is it supposed to be? Or we can say, you worked really hard on this. And I think we all know the right option here. <laughs> it took all day. Mm hmm But I want to make my next one even better. Hell yeah. What should I do? Um, start with a nice canvas? Yeah, well, sure. I don't know how to make a canvas. <gasps> Let's make it together then. All right! You're a nice artist after all. Hell yeah. First, I don't know how to make a canvas, but I'm sure the game does. <laughs> we need to get block, collect boards and fabric. I know where some boards are. Follow me. Okie dokie. Lead along, child. An artist in training. Oh. I've never seen anything like that. Terrible waste of a good ship. Oh. And it went down so quickly. It's amazing anyone made it out of that. Mm-hmm. You certainly won't see me boarding a ship anytime soon. Fair. <laughs> Alrighty. Sorry, child. I uh, got distracted. Decent boards. Now we just need the fabric. Uh-huh. I don't know where to find that. Ah. Maybe we should ask someone. That's okay, we can find some. But I appreciate you getting me the boards. Alright. Let's go have a look see. Let's go have a look around. Find out. Can we talk to any of you people? No. By the looks of it, that's okay. Hello. <laughs> Bless. Oh, sorry. Oh god, hi child. Okay, the child's definitely following me then, that's fun. Ooh. 
Don't mind if I do. Is this so the fabric we, we need? Everything we need now, right? Mm -hmm. we can make a canvas from this stuff? It seems like that, yes. I'm just gonna pick up a few more because well they're everywhere. Oh, <gasps> oh my goodness, this person's a bear. <laughs> Alright, we'll deal with that in a second. Um Crafting? Open your crafting box on the right hand side there. Um we can craft a canvas. Two bolts and two fabric. And we have four of each. Hey. Wonderful. Nice. Could you paint something? Uh-huh. I want to watch a real artist. You are a real artist, but okay, I'll do it also. Hi. I <laughs> oh my. Glad we had similar thoughts. Watch your step there. Lots of moving boxes around here. Mm-hmm. You're looking a little waterlogged. Guessing you just came in off of that ship. I did, yes. You even got some seaweed hanging from your ear. Uh-huh. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Oh, I'm a wreck. Yeah, we all have those days, right? <laughs> I mean, uh, my dad got in a shipwreck once. Uh -huh. He wasn't as lucky as you, though. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, that must have been tough. Oh, no, he's, he's, he's fine. Just lost his leg is all. Uh -huh. Now he gets to order us around even more. <laughs> Fair enough. So, you'll probably be exploring all over, right? Mm -hmm. Would you do me a huge favor? Will you give me a hug? I mean, yes, sure, my sorry. My brother loves raspberry-filled pastries. Oh, loves my God, I do, too. Enough, but... Raspberries don't grow here. Uh, so he puts in an overseas order every two weeks. Mm -hmm. it's crazy, really. Honestly, I would do that for raspberry pastries. Grape filled pastries. I, I mean, oh. we all hate them, obviously, but he hates them even more. Mm. He'd destroy them all if he could, you know? Right, okay. He once saw an old lady eating some and he grabbed the box and threw it in the ocean. It was the craziest thing. Uh, that sounds a bit okay, um, so what ridiculous. I did was fill his raspberry <laughs> pastry bag with uh, <laughs> grape pastries. Can you imagine what he's gonna do when he eats one? <laughs> He'll go insane! <laughs> uh -huh. He's always suspicious Fuck. of me doing something like this, though, so it would be perfect if you could play along and act like you're a uh, delivery person. Uh-huh. So, what do you say? Will you deliver them to him? <laughs> this is a great plan, but I'm not into pranks. What do we feel about this? Do we, do we wanna <laughs> trick someone with some great pastries? I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if I feel safe tricking them with great pastries based on the reaction we've been told. You know, they just grabbed some off an old lady and threw them into the ocean. I don't know if I want to be thrown into the ocean because I'm delivering some great pastries. You know, it's just, we're new in this town. We've already accidentally um, been rude to one person that lives here. Maybe we could just say no for now. I'm thinking no for now. Let's just, I mean, you seem cool, Enio, but uh, not right now. Really? Huh. Uh, don't think of it as a prank. Think uh -huh. of it as a uh, bonding experience between loving siblings. Uh-huh. Uh, no thanks. Uh, take these anyway, just uh -huh. in case you change your mind. Maybe you can find someone who actually likes them. <laughs> just kidding. Everyone hates them. Oh. Well, he gave us the pastries anyhow. All right. Fair enough. He's very cute, isn't he? I do like him. Ooh, what more wooden boards? Sorry, yes, child. We're doing a painting. Um, what are we doing a painting of? Select a canvas to paint on. Uh, that one. Ah, this is how we do the painting. All right, what do we? Oh, what does our first painting want to be? We can adjust the cropping like this. Nice, wonderful. What do we want to paint? Oh, let's pick a scene. All right, hang on a second. There we go. All right, let's let's go find ourselves a beautiful scene to paint. There's the boat. There's the. That's nice, isn't it? The shah. Here's the thing, it's all very gorgeous. We could paint literally any of it. <laughs> and it would be good. Should we paint this? Yeah, let's paint this. This is nice. Um that button, that button, that button. And then let's let's just do a full big old paint. Actually, we don't need the wall in the bottom there, do we? Ah, let's include it. Let's see. Uh, can we just like just, just, just frame the camera like that? Yeah, I like that. Let's do this. Paint. Da 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 da. <gasps> there we go. We've lost a bit of inspiration because, you know, that's what it takes. Browse your paintings. Um, oh, which button is X? Oh, that was X, wasn't it? Ah, there we go. Oh, we can paint over it. Oh, no, we don't want to paint over it. No, 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 no. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. Oh, look at it. It's so cool. We could paint over it, or we could just leave it as it is, and I want to do that. All right. Where's the child that was following us? Oh, hello. You're stuck on the. Oh. Painting is amazing. Uh -huh. I want to try. Can I have a canvas? We found enough stuff, right? 
We did. Your head's in a wall. Are you okay? Take this canvas, yes. please. I'm going to use this for Miss Nika's next painting. Oh, she dear. loves art so much. I'm glad. Hey, Miss Nika loves art like us. Mm -hmm. She always likes my paintings. I bet she likes yours too. She really likes the eclipse. Mm -hmm. You should draw her that. The eclipse. Okay, please. There we go. Okay, she's hopefully going to sort herself out. Oh, dear God. Okie dokie. It's a cute little town, isn't it? It's cute. I like it. You did it, yeah. We did it. We did a painting. We are the artists. Hello. Just gonna go around and steal some more canvas. I hope everyone's okay with that. <laughs> Hello. More canvas. Hello. Oh, so you've survived too. <gasps> it's the captain. There's only one of us has been lost at sea. One was lost at sea. Uh, who was lost? Who? Only the most important one of us all, Annabelle. Annabelle? I don't remember the name Annabelle. Doesn't sound. She carries you across the oceans and you don't even learn her name. Annabelle! My ship! A oh. wooden sea loving daughter! The ship was called Annabelle. Killed by the damned reefs when we came into this miserable town. Ah. Uh, I'm very sorry about your ship. Yeah, let's say that. That seems like the best option. Kind of you to say so. Kindness does nothing to bring sweet. Annabelle back to me. Oh. Uh, what will you do now? I imagine I'll be spending the rest of my days mourning Annabelle. Oh. Sitting here, dreaming of a world where she wasn't destroyed and people actually remember her name. Yeah, sorry about that. I didn't... I wasn't aware. Uh, I'm sorry to remember. I bet things will feel better tomorrow. Let's say sorry. Off with you. Oh. Trade your life for hers. Okay. Uh, ooh, we could talk about all sorts. Talk about fabric of Lindo. It's really a terrible place to be stranded. Uh huh. Ship murdering town. A ship murdering town. Yeah, fair. Oh, okay, bye. Ship. Such a good ship she was. Uh huh. No, oh, I must now be going. Me be. Okay, bye. <laughs> mean. Yeah, that was a bit. But I mean, she's clearly grief stricken, so. Not that I'd excuse this bad behaviour, but at the very least explains it. That child is still stuck up there. Oh, goodness me. Hello. Excuse me. Hello. Sorry. We've had quite a few shipwrecks here. Hello. There's a reef surrounding the bay, and that's what does it. It shouldn't slow down traffic too much, though. I'm just glad you all made it. We did indeed, Doric. Uh, I was very lucky. I work on the docks almost every day. If you ever have any questions about Lindo, come on over, and I'll do my best to help. Oh, thank you. Uh, thanks. Oh, I need to actually talk to him. Oops, hello. When I was a boy, merchants came to Lindau with strange spices and soft fabrics. Mm hmm They haven't been back in a long time, though. No. Mm. Uh, what does Lindau import now? We mainly get shipments of teas, grains of fabrics, and headwear of the latest fashion, of course. Of course, naturally. In any case, there's always lots of work to do around here. Okie dokie. Uh, big topic. Uh, fabric? Fabric. Oh. We go through loads of it. Here, these lengths are defective for shipping, but will perhaps serve your purposes. Thank you. Got given some fabric. Uh, all right, cheerio. Craft a canvas. We can craft more canvases. Ah, oh, more canvas. <laughs> yep, yep, that's the thing we can do. All righty. So where are we at at the moment? Uh, journal is that button. Mother's last wishes. That's okay. We're doing that eventually, I guess. Artist in training. Um, let it keep some of the materials, so that one's done. Ah, oh, okay, so oh, these are all done then, aren't they? Yes, because they're greyed out. And this one isn't. Oh, wonderful. I was sitting here wondering why I was thirsty. I haven't drank in eight hours. Oh, no. <gasps> I'm a fool. Oh, goodness gracious me. Oh, get a drink, Flicky. <laughs> Please, say to your thirst. I'm going to have a drink right now, in your honour. Please hydrate yourself. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, oh, there's all sorts around here. Great. Oh, okay. They've got a real cat. And then there are humanoid cats. I, oh, that poor child. Is that child ever going to move from there? <laughs> I'm a fool. You're okay. Don't you worry. Uh, look, honestly, people forget sometimes and that's okay. It happens. It's not, it's, you know, as long as you, it's, it's less about the forgetting and more about the, <laughs> it's such a pathetic little jump, isn't it? We could, we could basically just shimmy upwards. It's, that's how good I can jump, pretty much. Um, 
But yeah, it's more what you do when you realize you've forgotten, as opposed to the actual act of forgetting, you know? Look after yourself, take care. I'm... That child's gonna be there forever now, aren't they? Oh dear me, I hope, I hope they get... Uh huh. Oh dear. You're not a bird, Lenny. You need to come down right now. Oh dear. Um. You're going to get hurt. Uh. Everybody, turn around. No. What? Why? No. If you don't all turn right now, I'm gonna jump. What on earth is happening? Okay, okay. Everyone turn around. Do we have to do that? I don't that? know what you're trying to do, but it's time to come down now. I flew! I can't believe it! I flew! Wait, what? Of course you did. I'm just glad you're back down. Don't oh, do right, again. they were making us turn around so they could be like, Oh, look, I flew, and just climb down. Now that I know I can fly, I won't do it again. That was weirdly stressful. What? <laughs> Hello, child. Are you... Ah! Uh -huh. Okay, Lenny's strange and powerful. Goodness me! Hello. I saw you talking with the captain. Mhm. Mm How is she doing? She's not taking it too well. Um, she really loved the ship. I don't think I've heard her talk about much else. Hmm. I wonder if she'll ever recover. I hope so. How have you been? I've I've only just woken up, to be honest. But Linda. After that wreck, I may just settle down here for a while. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. I think that's all we've got to talk to. Should we find out what the, oh, the world we didn't? There's not much in this building. It's just more of an observatory than anything, isn't it? Is time passing or not? I can't tell. I feel like the sun's in the same position, but I genuinely, I can't tell. Alrighty. It's, uh... I don't know. We explored all there is to explore in this area? There was more, there was more to talk at the inn. I know that for a fact. Let's head to the inn. Let's head back in here, because we could talk to her about more things, but we, uh... Decided to resolve the jug situation first. Ooh, eh, there's the door handle. <laughs> Only shuts from one side. Ooh, hello. I feel so adventurous staying here in Lendo. Uh huh. Where are you travelling from? I live in Naba, but sometimes oh. I just long for the primitive lifestyle Lindo offers. Lindo seems well established to me. How humorous you are! Uh -huh. I like that in a person. Right. Some may find the story of my journey utterly inspiring. Nothing could have prepared me for the muddy paths, the unbearable heat. Mm -hmm. I even had to eat outside. Outside? Goodness Overall, me. it was a dreadful experience, but I braved through it all. Good for you, Emmerich. That sounds like quite the trip. <laughs> yes, it certainly was impressive on my part. Oh, dear. I so dearly wish my friends could see how adventurous I've become. Mm-hmm. Was that it? Was that all? I do enjoy this exciting new lifestyle I've adopted. Uh huh. Did I ever tell you about my journey to Lindo? Um, yes, you did. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm sure you have the saga thoroughly memorized. Absolutely, yes. There's blistering Say, sun and something. You do some sort of art things, don't you? I paint, yes. Do you think you could capture my sheer magnificence on canvas? Uh huh. I'm dying to show my friends what a remarkable traveler I've become. That sounds wonderful. Absolutely, perhaps. That stunning taste you have. <laughs> Be sure to capture oh, every dear. bit of my elegance. I will do exactly that, Emmerich. A pompous patron. Here's that indeed. Ooh, candle. Oh, oh, we've, we've stolen a candle. Oh, am I allowed to do that? I, I thought it was going to be like light, not steel. But uh, oh, there's one there as well. Oh, I'm stealing candles. This isn't good. All right, let's paint a picture of this guy. Now oh, that canvas will do. Yeah, we don't want to paint over that one. We've got this blank one here. Right, good. I had to craft more. Ah, yes, wonderful. I'm understanding the menus now. Let's uh, get ourselves in a good position. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I like this next to the fire. That feels good. Uh, maybe a bit more this way. Hello. Maybe this is good. Hmm. Hmm. That's the jump button. There's bloody tables in the way. Excuse me. Can we just move this table? Is that... <laughs> Let's go for something like this. And now we, go, we should really go from the other side. What's it like over here? Something like this. So we can get like the, the, the stove and the books in. Yeah, let's do that. Da 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 da! Yeah, that's good. 
Don't mind that. Not bad. Oh my! That painting. Mm -hmm. It's the most perfect thing I've ever seen. It's a very bold statement. I simply must have it. <laughs> uh huh. Off a painting. This is wonderful. My friends will be so jealous of me. <laughs> I think I'll start a collection of paintings just like this. Wonderful. You're going to collect paintings of yourself. Do you know what? If that makes you happy in life, I'm not going to stop you for that. Can you imagine? An entire wall filled with paintings. Glowstones. Of me. Mm-hmm. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Dear me. That guy gave us 25 glowstones. I do not know what they are, but I'm assuming a currency of some sort. Oh, we can go upstairs. Oh, oh, look at this little bed here. Oh, isn't that wonderful? With the light coming through the window. We can't open that door, but it looks fit. This place is gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I do. Ooh. Ooh. The architect of Lindo. Ah, we got inspiration from it. Nice. Lindo's buildings are engineering marvels. Difficult to, uh, as difficult to construct as they are beautiful. The designs of these technical endeavors are... Uh, the designs of these technical endeavors are the work of an eccentric genius, Azad of Tarrier. Five years ago, this incredible architect vanished. His whereabouts remain a mystery to this day. Though praised for his accomplishments in engineering, in engineering and architecture, perhaps most widely recognized uh, for a rare genetic facial disfigurement. A polarizing celebrity, many praise his genius, while others resent his supposedly arrogant disposition. Some even claim that his no notoriety, that's a weird word, um, is owed entirely to this disfigurement, implying that his credited skills are, in actuality, nothing more than ordinary. <gasps> Gasp. He has definitely built something wonderful. Yeah, Lindo's pretty cool. I like it. I wonder if we'll meet the architect one day. Oh, that door's locked. Maybe we can go in there at some point. Who knows? Alright, let's head down here a bit. Um, yes, innkeeper, that was it. We could talk ah, to you. the travelling artist. That'd be me. Uh, big topic. Linda. It's a bit more calm than Nava. Mm -hmm. I think it's quite a nice place to relax. Yeah, I like it too. Uh, Nava? I lived there for a few years, working as a baker. Ooh. I do miss the bustle of the city sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, the architect of Linda. That poor man. He had quite a gruff personality. Not very sociable. But I don't think he meant to offend people. I understand that. I hope he's very happy. Wherever he is. Yeah. Absolutely. Alright. Is that for conversations? Yeah. Browse Certainly. goods. Let's see what we can buy. Ooh. Ah, okay. So that's what these are. They're, they're the currency. I see. So we can buy Lindonian brew, which um, is just brew, or meadow spice mead. Sure to keep you warm on a cold, uh, shadian night. Shadian. Ah, because it's East Shade. I see. This brew is made with honey from the apiaries of East Shade's remote west coast. Blimey. Sounds wonderful. Actually, do you know what? Should we get a bottle? We've got 25, whatever they're you called. Look well. Thank you. Um, Certainly. Let's buy some meadow spice mead. Why not? There we go. Alright. Good stuff. It's gorgeous out here. I love it. Look at these flowers. They're so pretty. Alrighty. What's the deal then? Where are we headed to next? Are we happy with this place? Are we content with our progress we've made? I think so. I don't, is there not much else to do here, I don't think? Talk to the owl lady, maybe? Nope, can't talk to her. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, close the door behind us, as is polite. I guess, yeah, the sun hasn't moved. I don't think we have a day-night cycle. Oh, yeah, anyhow. Hello. Um, I don't think the father's going to talk to us, is he? Not nicely, anyhow. Get out! Yeah, uh, uh um, okay. <laughs> da, 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 da. Let's leave this place. Okay. Ah, uh, so this is how he got up onto the roof to be a bird. I mean, that makes sense. That makes sense. You can jump better than me. <laughs> Aw, this is a cute little place up here. Aw, oh, this is gorgeous. What a view. This is beautiful. Ah, oh, the river going into the sea. This is pretty. Oh, hello. There's people up here. <gasps> it's a baby bear and a baby owl. Oh my goodness. Hi. Bless them. They seem lovely. Um, what do we have in our inventory? Boards and fabric. Lindonian brew. Metal spice mead. Pastries. Mm. Uh, water to clear my head of anything weird I drink. Ah, wonderful. 
and some wax. Wax, it's waxy. <laughs> no equipment. Ah, drinks and books. Nice, nice, nice. And then crafting wise, we can only craft a uh, canvas. And that's okay. We don't really need much more than that at the moment. Ooh, hello. Great viewpoint, isn't it? It is. Nika. She was the innkeeper, wasn't it? It's very different from her. Oh, lovely. Look, the eclipse is starting. Ooh, is it? It didn't look like it was, but I'll, I'll take that as word. <laughs> da 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 da. <laughs> Does that happen often, do we think? Thanks or? again for the canvas. Oh. No worries. He's some really old guy. I'm pretty sure. Uh-huh. Okay, bye. Oh my god. What? Uh Oh shit, we were supposed to paint that. Uh, oh, we're out of canvases, we can't. Oh my goodness, why is time going so fast? Not a bad show, right? That was wonderful. Um Fuck. <laughs> we didn't take a picture of it. I hope it happens again. Miss seeing it from solid ground. Uh been a while since I've really watched it. I try to come up here every day. Ah, so it happens daily. I guess it just doesn't get old for me. Anyway, mm -hmm. if you haven't got lodging for the night, feel free to stay at the inn. Mm -hmm. I'll leave the upstairs room unlocked for you. Drop in at your leisure. Thank you. <laughs> Don't worry about payment. Shipwreck survivors stay free of charge. Ah, wonderful. Thank you. Take care now. You too. All right. Um. So it's approaching night time, I guess. My garden is filled with all sorts of wriggly critters. Uh huh. <laughs> Good to know. Take care now. See you later. Oh dear, so do you think things will have changed now? That was a really weird moment. Why like that girl ran up to us and was like, haha, ha, hello, in the middle of it, but yeah. <laughs> to be fair, that girl was like wedged in, wedged in a wall last I saw, so maybe she was just, you know, recovering from that. Ah. Hello. I'm not going to talk to you. Um, I don't think anything's changed. Do we go to the inn then? Ah, she's left the room unlocked. That's true. We can maybe get in there. Do we have to do that to sort of progress, do we think? I guess we'll find out, won't we? Hey, there we go. This is our room, then. Aww. Ah, it's got a book. Oh, we can rest. Nice. Wonderful. Candle. Don't mind. Some more canvas. We've got plenty of canvas. Not many boards. What's the book all about? Shady and folk tales. Oh, wow. Look at that artwork. That's gorgeous. I'm going to get a drink before I read. Long ago, the air outside the planet grew terribly cold. Without any fur or feathers for protection, Sun began, began to freeze. She decided to make her flames as big and hot as possible to keep herself warm. Sun worked all day and night to keep her fires burning. Enormous flames reached all the way to our soil and began to scorch the creatures. Fires raged, destroying homes and forests. But Sun was too exhausted to notice. Growing worried, the plants and creatures decided to help her. How does one next page, do we reckon? <laughs> oh, that way. Uh, together they gathered twigs, leaves, fur and feathers and wove them into a large sheet of fabric. Covered it with clay to protect it from fire and the trees lifted the woven mass into the sky. Take this blanket to rest yourself in warmth, the creatures cried. Sun slipped under the blanket and wrapped herself tightly. The flames cooled and dimmed, leaving the land of creatures in darkness. When the sun woke from her nap, her golden light returned to the creatures who danced and sang, thankful for their gift had worked. And so, that is the story of the sun's blanket, which she uses each day. Aww, that's the story behind the eclipse. Wonderful, that's so cute. Ah, we can, oh, look at that. We can, ah, uh, nice. And then, ah, uh, wonderful. So that's when the eclipse is, 12 p.m. Is that, no, it's midday then, isn't it? Yeah. It's like eight in the morning, nine in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then midday. So midday is the eclipse. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. This is great. I love this little clock, that's gorgeous. Yeah, okay, so it's currently 2.20 p.m. Ah, there is a day and night then. Um, we just had the eclipse. We can go, when do we want to wake up? I don't know. Eight in the morning? Let's go 7.44, why not, why not, eh? Off to snooze. Back now with a big picture of cold, lovely saft. Have you mentioned Saft before? I feel like the name is familiar. I do apologize. Da da da. Alrighty. Let's go have a wander around, see if anything's changed. Close our door behind us, as is only polite. 
So I presume that room there is um, the innkeeper's room where they live and where they stay. That's fair. That's a fair assumption. Gorgeous pillows in this place. <laughs> Alrighty, hello. The salty sea air never gets old. Mm hmm. <laughs> um. Take we're good care, then, aren't we? I just can't wait to go home and show everyone this magnificent portrait. <laughs> the beauty of my features entirely makes up for your lack of proper art training. All right, fuck you. You were be. Do you know what? He was being okay until he said that, and now now I'm against him. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, the child's moved herself back. Thank goodness. Thanks again for the canvas. No worries, child that was lodged in a wall. <laughs> dear me. Um, do you reckon we go to sleep again and wait until the um, the eclipse? Because if so, I would love to do that and get a picture of the eclipse. I'll get a, get a painting of the eclipse rather for um, for our innkeeper here because we we are told she likes them. All right. Um, yeah. So like, let's go to half eleven. Gives us time to get up there, you know. I'm sure I have. I don't know what it's called in English, but it's Swedish. It's saft. Syrupy drink. You add, add with water and you get a lovely drink. Ooh. Having a nice cold elderflower saft. Ooh. Is it like a cordial then? Like you add water to it. Like you put a bit in and like it's a concentrate and you add water to it and it becomes juice. That sounds delicious either way. Elderflower. Hmm. Amazing. I'm glad you enjoy it. That's great. Yes. Ah, wonderful. Good, 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 good. That's what it's called. E, we got there. We figured it out. <laughs> Alrighty, let's waddle up here. Get ourselves towards the um, viewpoint for the eclipse. And I wonder if we've... Can we watch it go past, or... Is it moving? I can't tell. Do we have a... a... Ah, we do. 11.45 there. And 46, 47. Oh, okay, so time is passing, that's good. There be the eclipse then. Look at it go. Alright then. So, we want a painting. We're going to paint over this one because we're not using it for anything. And frankly, we need more. <laughs> we don't have much in the way of paint. Um, Where do we want to frame it? I like something like that, maybe. Yeah, with a little lighthouse down there and sort of the eclipse there with a... Um... Oh, that's good there. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, get a bit more of the world in. Wonderful. Da-da-da-da. Hey. The colours on that are gorgeous. They're not even slightly what we've seen, but they're, <laughs> they're very nice. Alrighty. So, apparently, the lady said when we arrived here, it gets too cold at night here. You have to wear a coat. I don't know if we have a coat or not. Oh, hello. Ah, the goodness. That painting of the eclipse is lovely. Mm -hmm. Is it for me? It is, yes. I mean, good assumption, but yes. I bet Sandra put you up to this. Mm hmm Ah, oh, this is lovely. You're too kind. I'm going to hang this in the room upstairs. Aw, wonderful. Hey, oh, we got 20 glowstones. Nice. We got paid for our work. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lenny, for your input. Dear me. Alrighty, well then... You know what I'm gonna do? We've been live for an hour. Have you got anything more to say or not? My cousin is so full of energy. Uh huh. One day he's flapping around like a bird, and the next he's jumping everywhere. Ah, Lenny's your off. cousin. Cute. Alrighty. Uh, but yes, we've been live for an hour now, so I'm gonna take a little five-minute break. And once we get back, I think we should head over to. Ooh, hello. Do we go for a walk? Do we might just go for a walk in the forest? Honestly, just go find out what there is. See what we can see. Wander off into the woods and hope we don't get killed, you know? It's the usual stuff. Or we could take a car to ride, perhaps. There's no map I can see, which is almost a shame, but it's probably not a shame. All right. I'm going to AFK. I'm going to take a quick short break, which is going to, um, quite frankly, kill the game audio. It's just going to stop. It's just going to vanish. So <laughs> there's the right button there. I'm going to pop on the BGM once more. I've closed the BGM tab. I've got to go and find it now. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, do, 
This is my BGM temporary music. Uh, you're welcome. It's rubbish, but you will appreciate it. <laughs> oh, dear me. Alright, do a bit of bit of bit of this. There we go. Alrighty, I'll be back in a few minutes. Um, but until then, if you haven't set up in a while, if you need to have a stretch, if you need to have a drink, if you need to hydrate, look after yourselves, now is a good time to do it. I'll be back in a few minutes. Take care.
Okay, okay, I have returned. I'm gonna say goodbye to the BGM. Oh, dear me. I'm thinking, depending on where we are in the stream and how we're doing and how everything's going, how the game is going, might finish about half an hour earlier than normal. We'll see how we go. See how I'm feeling. I'm just getting a little bit sleepy, and it wouldn't hurt. It wouldn't hurt, you know. <laughs> All right, let's pop back into the game. Ah, there we go. A newcomer. Hello. In the future, if you're ever in need of carriage to Nava, mm -hmm. I'm your driver. We've met before, but thank you. I I appreciate it. Um, let's just say okay, thanks for now. My I don't know. Ox is strong. No. <laughs> I, yes, I agree. Um, welcome back. Thank you. Um, I'm not sure if we have to take the carriage to Nava or whether we can just walk it, but I want to try walking it first. I want to figure out what the world looks like. I, want to go, I just want to go for a walk. I mean, this place is beautiful. I just want to walk around it. Ooh. What are you? What are you? Oh, we've got a quest for the architect of Lindo. Oh, they just mysteriously went missing. Ah, oh, wonderful. Um, oh, equipment. Go for page. Go up. Bards, fabric, feather, roots. Ooh, really tough. Almost like rope. Interesting. Now that'll play into things. Um, some more roots over here. All right, let's keep going. Oh, the river. Why a bridge on it? Oh, is that a person down there? There he is. Let's go find them. Let's go say hello. What a wonderful place. I'm not used to exploring without a map. I don't quite know how I feel about it yet. Yeah, maybe we'll get one in a minute. Who knows? Certainly not I. <laughs> hello, person fishing. Aw, it's a cute place, isn't it? Hello. Hello there. Newcomer, are you? Uh-huh. Trying to get across the bridge, I guess. Oh, I hope you've got the glowstones for it. Uh -huh. It's not free, you know. To cross the bridge? If they want, and you can use it as much as you'd like. Right. Uh, what can you do? What do you... Sorry, what do you do here? I'm a, I'm a fisher. I catch fish, I cook fish, I'm a selfish, you know. Yeah, fish-based things. What I do here is fish. <laughs> Sometimes I like to visit town, but not very often. Mm -hmm, that's What's fair. What's that you're carrying? It looks heavy. Are you some kind of painter? I am indeed, yes. Mm, you know what? Maybe there's a way you can get the ghost stones out of me after all. Uh-huh. There's a gazebo in Lindau. Yep. Real pretty spot. Maybe you've been there. I have. Anyway, I'd like a painting of that view. Ah. Okay. The gazebo is easy to find. It's just behind the ear. Mm -hmm. And I want the painting from the gazebo, not of the gazebo. Right, it's yeah. It's the view, not the building, if you get my meaning. I get it, yeah. Don't Thank you for explaining, though. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's go paint a thing from the gazebo. Ah, we don't have any canvas at the moment yet. And can we make any? That's a good question. No, we're missing boards. Alright, so let's go board hunting. But once we get some boards, we can do that. Um, we have to pay to use the bridge. Interesting. We've got quite a few glowstones as it is currently. I wonder how many. 60? Yeah, no, we can't get across the bridge yet. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's certainly one way of uh, making sure we can only go in certain places. We can't walk through the... I mean, we could just... Are we... We're not... Okay, it's too deep. <laughs> I was going to say, I mean, we're not using the bridge. We're just crossing the river in our own way. No, we can't. We can't. Okay, that's fine. I understand. <laughs> All right. I've lost the path. All right. There's a fence over here. I'm just trying to see whereabouts we can head. All right. There's a little path around here. Is this like a little garden area? I can't tell. I have not a clue. It's a cute little place, isn't it? Ah, oh, look. There's the window again. We're looping back around this way. Oh. Hello. There's a person here with some books. There's nothing like a good book on a day such as this. I agree. Actually, books are the perfect way to spend any day. I agree. Do you enjoy reading? I do. Uh, I do, or I don't do it much. I mean, those I'm are both glad true. I'm to hear that. Perhaps I can share my favorite books with you sometime. That would be wonderful, my Eunice. My favorite books are the ones that inspire me to write myself. Mm-hmm. How about you? Absolutely, yeah. Um, I feel the same way. Creatives. Me a writer, you a painter. We've got to stay inspired. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The best way I've found is to drink many, many cups of tea. <laughs> Always gives me a boost. Fair enough. Speaking of writing, if you find any feathers around here, mm -hmm. I'd happily buy them. 
I'm constantly losing my quills. I figure three should do it. Uh huh. Three feathers. For now, though, I must get back to reading. I think something fabulously dramatic is about to happen. Enjoy is there it, Eunice. Else? No, that's okay. Farewell. You enjoy your book. Feathers, eh? Um, I have one feather. That's not quite three. All right. Ooh, there's a bit of rope up here. <gasps> is this a zip wire or something? Ooh, pick up a twig. Is this a zip wire? Are we going to be able to zip wire at some point? This game is interesting. <laughs> I don't know where this, game, where this game is heading. I don't know what sort of scale or scope we're going to be dealing with here, but it's very interesting. I like it a lot. I'm really enjoying this game so far. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I'm glad we picked it up. I'm glad we're giving it a try. All right. Ooh. Hello. I thought that log was a person. That's scary. I wonder what things are like at night time. 1.50. Oh, we got loads of time. Night time isn't... It's ages away. We've only just had midday. Ooh. I think we've got three feathers now. Ah, the game's telling us when we've got three feathers. That's nice. I like that. Uh -huh, my fellow bookworm. That'd be me. I have three feathers. Oh, wonderful. Hopefully this is enough to last me a while. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. It's okay. I do hate scouring the forest floor for these. Mm -hmm. If you find any more, I'll pay you one close to the piece. Nice. We've got a repeatable is quest. Something else? Uh, let's just talk. Lindau. Lindau used to be right on the river until a mudslide destroyed most of the town. Oh, really? After that, the townspeople relocated to the coast. Oh. Huh. I had no idea. Uh, Nava? Many of the folk from old Lindau moved there after the mudslide. Oh. Uh. The library there is of a historic note. Ooh. And the architect? Ah, that would be Azad. A brilliant, brutally honest, and highly misunderstood man. Mm-hmm. Undoubtedly too curt for his own good. Perhaps that's why many Lindau folk found it difficult to maintain amicable relations with him. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's is all. There something else? No, nope, you enjoy your book, there. He's kind of cute, isn't he? I kind of like him. I want to sit under a tree and read books with him forever. That sounds nice. <laughs> All right, let's head over this way. Let's follow the path, shall we? This game is neat. It is, isn't it? Oh, <gasps> hello. Oh, there's little mice. Oh, rats or whatever they are. They're very cute. Hello. Hello, friends. Where are you going? You just bobbing around the place on a nice time? All right, good for you. I, I appreciate that. Oh, dear. But yes, it's a very cute game. I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. It's so relaxing. All right, so this leads, ah, this leads back to the town itself that way. And there's the thing up here. Let's just uh, go off trail for a little bit. Wander over this way. So there's this bit over here. There's the place we want to take pictures of. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. Now we can't go over here. We are invisible walled off. Okay, so there's there's a polite amount of exploration to do, but there's not. We can't just go climbing over all the rocks and stuff. There are invisible walls to you know hold your progression in some way. That's fair. That's understandable. God, this place is gorgeous. I would love to meet the architect one day. <laughs> it really is a nice place. All right, we're we we're needing we're needing some boards, quite frankly. All right, let's uh. Let's see if there's any more down at the docks. That's where we got our first slot from, wasn't it? Nice rats and possums. Love them all. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Little rodent-y friends. Alrighty. Let's go see if we can find ourselves some boards. I wonder... Oh, are that chicken? Hello, chicken. <laughs> Hi, everyone. How we doing? Are there any boards for sale? Oh, just lying around the place I can just steal? <laughs> No, we found some down here, but that was for, for the uh, the quest. There's any just lying around on the rocks somewhere. Oh, is there any shipwrecked ones? I feel a bit rude doing that after, um... Well, after the captain was so heartbroken about the shipwreck. Ooh, there's a tower up there. Ah, so the cave um, of the, the, um, the person who rescued us should be around that corner, right? Yeah. Not seeing anything particularly harvestable in this area, so that's okay. A uh, shame we can't do Skyrim exploration by uh, jumping, uh, sorry, uh, uh, spamming the jump button and climbing over mountains. Yes, I... <laughs> do you know what? Sometimes you get a bit too used to that and you go and play a different game and you're like, Oh, I, I can't scale up this mountain. Oh, of course I can't scale up a mountain. It's a mountain. Like, you know, 
you just forget, you know, that not every game is like that. And then I go, oops. Hello. I was about to head into town to share news of your survival. You should go there and let them know yourself. I have done. It's just at the path. Thank you for helping me. Way. Okay, so Ingolf has served his purpose here. He's just having a nice sit. Do you know what? Ingolf is also the same as the book person. Do you know what? Maybe I don't need to be in a relationship with Ingolf or the book person. Maybe they need to be in a relationship with each other. Maybe Ingolf and book person can be best pals, you know? They can have a nice time. They can go sit and do things on their own and just, you know, have a nice time. Being cool and on their own. <laughs> Alright, we can't go that way. That's okay. Let's head back. Let's head back. See, we didn't really explore the docks themselves. I just sort of went around them and said, Ooh, nothing here. It's a shame because there's loads of wood lying around for the crates and stuff. You could just peel a few boards off of there, you know. <laughs> what do you mean I have to go around the mountain? It's right here. I want to jump over it. <laughs> yep. That's bread. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, can we get to this tower? Where was the tower? Hmm. Let's have a find out. Let's have a... Let's have an explore and a look around. What was that I picked up? That was another stick. Boards and sticks. Very different creatures there. Oh, oh there's something. Oh, there's a little path up here. <gasps> there's a tower. Oh, we can go to the tower. Exciting. Oh, gosh, there's all sorts here. There's, there's proper paths and everything. Oh, goodness me. Goodness me. Dear me. All right, the abandoned tower. Oh. It's locked. Ah, but now we can talk to people about it. We can ask people about it. Do you think this is where the architect lives? This is cute. Oh, wow. Hell yeah, now we can ask people about it. We've got a topic. Oh, we, I know, right? I know. Alright, let's go have a wander down this path. It looks cool. Well, it looks unsafe and dangerous, but cool as well. You know, bit both, bit both. Bit of roots. Must be. I'm thinking it is too. I mean, maybe that's just, you know... Idle guessing. But, um... Oh, is this where Lindo used to be? Is this where the mudslide is that we read about? Looks like it. Oh, yeah, no, this looks like it, yeah. Yeah. This is, uh, this is where Lindo used to be. I presume, anyhow. I guess we'll find out. Let's have an explore. Let's have a look around, shall we? Hey, Old Lindo, it is. That's right. Also, we got some boards. Hell yeah. We make ourselves a canvas now. Ooh, we are feeling very inspired. Oh, gosh, we're getting stuck on a tree, though. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, yeah, I know. It's kind of sad to see it all sort of in ruins like this. Oh, we can't, we can't jump onto the roof. Ooh. <laughs> all right, let's go the normal way. Yeah. Dear me, dear me. I am not safe in here. It is sad to see it all in ruins like this, isn't it? Oh, God. It's beautiful still. Absolutely gorgeous. It's just some fabric, if I don't mind. And the candle. What are the candles for? It's a book here. <gasps> Ooh. Nader the Water Fox. Aww. Uh, Celios laid out his blanket in a patch of sunlight. His water fox, uh, Nader, sniffed about, searching for a nest of eggs to snack on. Stomach growling, he pulled a sachet of... A sa sachet? Sachet of frosted biscuits and berry wine from his pack. Nader howled in excitement. She'd found a nest. With a thick crunch, she cracked into the egg, hungrily lapping out the contents before batting the empty shell aside. Celios grimaced as she sat it on a second egg. As charming as he found water foxes, he couldn't stomach their eating habits. That's all there is to that book. <laughs> Fair enough. Not particularly... Do you know what? That was a cute book. It wasn't particularly informative. It wasn't particularly story-driven or, like, clearly a quest. It was just a little thing of, you know... I mean, maybe it will be later on, but, you know... Goodness me, property of Yulia Greywing. It's been raining for several weeks now. Tons of water pouring down a constant torrent. Ah, oh, this was before the mudslide. Home is filled with buckets to catch spills. How I long for a moment of clear sky and a break from the incessant drip, 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 dripping as I tried to sleep. Disaster stroke last night after the eclipse. The red feathers woke to a creaking and a groaning. They grabbed their children and ran outside moments while the house split from its stilts and crashed into the river below. Oh, goodness. Madam Baker has ordered an evacuation of all of Lindo until they can fortify our homes against this awful wet. Terrible news, only a day after we evacuated, we made camp on high ground, the entire of our happy village, mainland, hang on, the entirety of our happy village, mainland, in a huge gush, taking our homes down with it, what a horrible thing the weather has cast upon us. Aww. 
That is sad, isn't it? Pretty awful. I will say, though, these are very noticeably a different style of buildings from the ones in Maine, in, in, in Newland, though. Like, these ones are more wooden. I don't know if it's just because these are the ones that have survived up here, or because they're all weathered with age, but they seem more wooden. The ones down there seem more stone and structural. Have they made out safe? Me too. Me too. Ooh, more boards. I mean, it's absolutely a tragedy, but it's it's a wonderful place to come looking for boards. It's <laughs> plenty of boards around here. Plenty of boards. Alrighty. Don't mind if I do. I'll hop over here, so we can't cross over here, can we? Now the the river's going to be invisible walled. That's okay. We can't go around here, I don't think. Can we go in this house, or is it just the one? Was it just the one? Ooh, there's some canvas there. Just gonna nab that. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh. More boards. I know that we, yeah, we can't go in that house. That house is completely full of soil. <laughs> we could stand on it, though. Ooh. Ta da. Nice. Oh, there was literally a staircase here. Well, never mind. Alrighty. Ah, oh, it's all pots and plates and all sorts. It is sad, isn't it? It's, it's, it's not fun. But it's cute. Not cute. It's 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 sort of it's pretty in this really sad way, you know? It's sort of it's too deep, we can't go there. It's sort of, you know it's this destruction that has happened a while ago and has just been left and like there's a small beauty in it. It's it's a sad beauty, but it's a beauty nonetheless. Poor Lindo, I know, right? Poor Lindo. Well then. We've got plenty more to do now. We've got a, uh, a, a tower to talk to people about. Oh, that must be the architect, right? Do you think the architect ran away? Or ran away, but like, you know, went into uh, solitude after Lindo collapsed and was like, my my town that I built is falling apart and I'm sad now because of that. <laughs> like, you know, did they feel like guilty over it, do you think? I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Right, so do you know what? Let's follow this path that we actually found instead of just going wandering through the forest. Let's Let's do a bit of this. There we go. Time to say again. Ooh, nearly six o'clock. Oh, we should, yeah, we should uh, aim to head back towards Lindo in a minute or two. Uh, pick up a few bits and bobs on the way. It's a gorgeous little place, isn't it? Even destruction can be beautiful. Very, very true. Yeah, alrighty. Ooh, feather. Boink. There we go. And here we are back on the main path. That's all right then. All right, let's head back into town. See if we can't talk to some people about this uh, old tower. I wonder if the guy in the cave knows anything. I'm terrible at remembering people's names, but you know. Hello, you. Ah, a newcomer. Uh huh. You don't. No, no. You you don't. Have, you don't talk to us. No? You just offer us a ride. That's okay. Does anyone live in this building? Did we ever come to that conclusion? But yeah, the buildings in this Lindo are magnificently. Stone structures, right? They're not they're not as wooden as the ones in Old Lindo. Maybe the architect of Lindo didn't go into hiding after everything broke down there. Maybe Hello you know. Again. Hello. Uh pick topic. Abandoned tower. Oh yes. I saw that from the ship. Mm hmm It looked as if there was a light coming from inside. Could it be a lighthouse? Well that's what I thought originally, but we'll see. Um abandoned tower. Old Lindo. The original town built on the river. I remember hearing that it got destroyed in a mudslide. Mm -hmm. I heard that when I was really young. Oh, it was a while ago then. Interesting. Okie doke. See you later. Oh, it really is getting night time, isn't it? Oh, we're going to have to get inside soon. Child. <laughs> yeah, you should get inside too. Will you talk to us, the human man thing? Get out! Um, um, okay. No, he will not talk to us. I think we've ruined that friendship. Okay. That's sad, but it happened. Oh, hi, chickens. Oh, everyone's in the pub. Hello. How are we all doing? We stay busy working this dock. It's hard, but fulfilling for me. <laughs> Look at them all. Hi, everyone. How's it going? I just can't wait. Um, the abandoned tower. I haven't seen it. It's part of old Lindo, though, so it probably isn't worth seeing anyway. All right, rude. Uh, old Lindo. Hmm. I'm not very interested in old things. Mm -hmm. New things are so much more beautiful. Oh, sorry, I'm all right. Oh, 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 oh. Dear me. 
yeah, I've gone off this guy a bit. <laughs> At first I was like, he's a bit, you know, self grandeuring, but it's, you know, it's whatever. And now he's like, you're a bad painter. Also, old things are bad. <laughs> Let's talk to someone else. My father was a fisher of these oceans, so I've been out on the sea plenty of times. I could never be a fisher, though. Mm-hmm. We've met a fisher. Why not, though? Sea monsters. S sea monsters? Okay, fair enough. Abandoned. I remember playing in there as a kid. <laughs> the ocean looks beautiful from the top. Really? I wish it wasn't locked up. Oh, people can go in there? Oh, people have been in there? Interesting. Old Lindo? That was the original Lindo. The town got destroyed after it rained every day for a solid month. Oof. The hill just slid away. There might be some stuff worth salvaging out there. I've had a good look, I think. Yeah, see you later. You look well. Thank you, Nika. Um, topic. Abandoned tower. Towers like that were used to send fire signals to Nava. Oh, really? But we don't need to do that anymore. Oh, so it's kind of like it's a lighthouse, a but eerie. more of a beacon. But late the other night, I thought I saw lights coming from inside the tower. Aha! Someone oh, does live there. Probably just some kids playing a prank. Mm-hmm. It's definitely not. It's definitely someone living there. It may be it's the architect. That's where we all used to live. Mm-hmm. There was just so much rain one year. Luckily, we had the foresight to get out before the mudslide. No one got physically hurt. Oh, that's good. No one. Everyone. Everyone survived. Everyone was okay, minus the destruction of their homes and lives and everything. Yeah, <laughs> everyone was technically fine. All right. See you later. Yes. Thank you. All right. I think that's it for now. Should we go have a snooze? There's a few more people we can talk to in the town, but we should probably get some snoozing in before it gets too much like nighttime. Did she put the painting up like she said she would? That's not our painting, is it? No. Maybe it's supposed to be, but that's wonderful. That's all I was worried about. Yeah, we, uh, we, thankfully, people, you know, survived, which is good. Da -da -da -da. So, when do we want to wake up? 7 a.m.? 7 a.m. Sounds good to me. Let's have a drink while we do. So, may I happen to himself more to say about a given topic than others, so I'm not going to say at all, in which case that topic won't be available for inquiry. Oh, interesting. Yeah, alrighty. It's a brand new day. Welcome to Linda. 5.30. That's when I have to be up. Oh, my word. Oh, go to bed now. Flicky. <laughs> Flicky, go to bed now. Oh, that sounds... Oh, dear me. Um, I'm potentially having an early morning as well, actually. Not quite 5.30 in the morning, but... Um... Oh, I've got to be early in the Child, Thanks do we again. talk to you about things? Oh, we can. Interesting. Uh, but yes, I'm potentially going for a little trip out tomorrow. <laughs> um, Active Linda, Abandoned Tower, Abandoned Tower. Yes, Abandoned Tower, that's it. This is haunted. Ooh. Every time I go there, I hear weird sounds. Hmm. And some nights, the windows light up. It's kind of creepy. I'm not scared of ghosts, though. <laughs> okay, I believe you. Oh, Linda. That place is neat. My mom takes me there sometimes, but I'm not allowed to go by myself. Oh. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Alrighty. I wonder if we can talk to the um this lady again. Oh, that she's she's done with us as well. Nope, she's just Just staring at a bookcase again, as always. Okay, that's you know, good for her. I hope she enjoys a bookcase. <laughs> oh, dear me. Uh, was there anyone else to talk to? None of you people are talkable. You're all just uh, polite NPCs standing by. Oh, the bear! <gasps> Let's go see the bear. You seem like a nice person. You don't have to prank my brother if it's not your thing. Yeah. Maybe I'll see you around in Nava? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, is that all? Okay. Okay, bye. He's so cool. I love him a lot. He's really, really, really I like him a lot. <laughs> I'm a big fan. I'm going to be honest. Alrighty. I think that's all we have to do in this area. You, We've had quite a few shipwrecks yeah, I talked here. to you. Um, I work on the docks almost every day. Yeah, I talked to you yeah, yesterday, didn't we? In the end, there's no one. Ah, the captain. If only Annabelle could sail the seas once more. Mm-hmm. How cruel can this world be? Um, let's talk about the architect of Linda. Why does everyone think I have something to do with his disappearance? Mm. I've never seen him, and I certainly haven't taken him as a passenger. Oh, I didn't know everyone thought that. That's interesting. Uh, abandoned what? tower. I don't know. Is that an old Lindau? 
That used to be the main town. It did, yes. Do you know anything about it? Old Lindau was a perfectly lovely port city. If that had been our destination, we wouldn't be in this mess. Mm. A fair Why point. Are you interrogating me? Can't you see I'm in mourning? Perhaps the ship can be repaired? Blasphemy! Oh. For the broken hearted. Now leave okay, me. bye. Okay, yeah, she's we're, she's very devastated. We're not gonna try that. No. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, let's go paint ourselves a picture from the um, the uh, gazebo, was it called? Because then we can give that to the fishermen and they will potentially pay us enough to get across the bridge. 60's a bit pricey. Oh. I need my daddy's job. Uh huh. Uh, sounds lovely. Yeah, hopefully it'll be a nice day out. We shall see. Um, is any now the bear our new boyfriend? I'm tempted to say yes. I mean, he's gorgeous. I love him very much. I know someone who will be a big fan of him. <clears throat> bear's <Beth. laughs> Oh, dear. All right. Oh, we need to craft a canvas, don't we? I like this view. Oh, gosh. So many quests. Abandoned tower. Found a dilapidated tower. Some Lindo townsfolk spoke of an ominous sightings near the tower at night. And the fisherman wanted some art. Let's do the art, then. Nice. Good old load of canvases. Uh, let's paint on... Oh, we just got two blank canvases. That'll do. And let's do a full-size thing. Full-on big old thing. Mm. Nice. Da-da-da-da. Oh, it's in the wall, but it's there. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm happy with that. All right, let's go find fishermen. Might have to share them with Bear. Absolutely boobly. I will... <laughs> I will take a screenshot once stream is over, and I will pop it in the Discord. <laughs> oh, dear. Alrighty, I think this is the way to the fisherman, isn't it? Yeah, it's sort of the foresty trail. Alright, I'm gonna have a drink while we walk. Ooh. Sneaky feather. <laughs> oh, there's a the little rats again. Hey, friends. Ah, oh, and our other boyfriend. One of many. <laughs> Who will Actually, they'll buy feathers from us, won't they? Oh, we need to talk to you about the tower and everything. Oh, gosh. The tower. That building was part of the original town of Lindau. Mm-hmm. I heard a ghost has taken up residence inside. A ghost? Mm-hmm. If you're interested in an adventure, it's a lovely spot for a nighttime stroll. Ooh. If we go there at nighttime, then, do we think? That's worth thinking about. That's where I live. When I'm not camping. Oh, really? My house was the only thing standing after the mudslide. Oh. Uh, why didn't you move to New Lindau? Oh, I think I saw your house. I'm certain you did. Did you manage to take a peek inside? Uh, yes, the curtain was open. No, that'd be trespassing. I welcome all who are interested in learning. Uh huh. <laughs> I d did we go in his house? Curtain. John, let's go find out. Go see the fisherman, and then house with a curtain. Well, look out for that. Is this where we can go? Just down by the river, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Uh, let's let's give the painting to the fisherman. I think it's the house where we found the books. It might be, mightn't it? Well, looky here. You've gone and painted the gazebo view. I have indeed. How about that? Got myself something fancy. Yeah. See you around. Thanks very much. I'll see you later. How many did we get? Twenty-five. That's not quite sixty, but it's a good start. Um. Yeah. Let's head up to the village again. Up to uh, Old Lindo. I want to find out. And then, do you think we should head there at night time? I don't know if much changes between, like, the hours and stuff. If the day-night cycle, actually, you know, if, if it's if things are different at different times. I mean, we, we've seen so far that, obviously, the NPCs react. You know, they go into the... Thank you, Feather. <laughs> they go into the the, the inn at night time and stuff. You know, they, they... There is certainly some change. So that one is just submerged in the dirt. It is the only house, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely the only house standing. It must be hers. Ah, and there is a curtain, isn't there? Curtain is open. Aww. I really like the owl guy. Can he be our boyfriend as well? How many boyfriends are we allowed? Are we... <laughs> Do you know what? I should not be asking that question because look at any game I've ever played. We collect boyfriends like nothing else. You know, ESO, Skyrim. <laughs> as soon as I see an NPC, I'm like, is this a new boyfriend? I think we honestly maybe have three boyfriends so far in this entire game. So far. Like, we... <laughs> we're playing it for... um just over one and a half hours, and we already have three boyfriends. It's it's a problem. Oh, 
Oh, we can collect these. Oh, I just thought they were cool looking plants. What are they? White bloom sack. A white bulbous fruit. It sounds hollow. Hmm, fair enough. Oh, I think we have 70... 74 crystal things. Nice. We can get up the bridge. Uh, I want to investigate the tower a little bit more before we do, but absolutely. Let's uh, grab a few more of these. Because I didn't realise you could grab them. <laughs> da, 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 da. Thank you. And thank you. Alright, okay. Here, here, here's the plan. Go talk to our friend. Confess that we have been in his house because he seemed cool and into it. Weirdly enough. Um, and then discuss with him that. Then go back to bed. Wake up at night. Go walk by the tower. And then go see if this guy's at his house at night time. I have to have done all that. Oh, do we need a coat to go out at night though? Let's sell some feathers first. Um, nice. And then pick topic. Uh, oh, Linda? That's where I live. When I'm not camping. Uh, now, let's talk about this first. Why didn't you move to New Linda? All those books just seems like too much trouble. <laughs> Besides, what could be more fun than living in a ghost? Eunice here has an interesting idea of fun, but you I'm know what? You did. did you manage to take a peek inside? I did. Oh, good. I hope you found something to read that was of interest to you. I did. It was nice. All right. Well, that's that conversation. Good. That's okay. We didn't expect much from it, and we didn't get much from it, and that's okay. It was nice. It was ah, this guy's my boyfriend as well. I'm go. I'm sorry. We have to have. To, we have to collect them all. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Let's head off to bed. Ah, but are we allowed out at night time? Well, we'll find out. And if not, we can just go back to bed. And then we can like, we we can afford to get over the bridge. It's exciting. Collect them all. Hell yeah. <laughs> See a new boyfriend? Acquire a new boyfriend. Alright, let's go have a little midday nap. Ooh, not even midday. It's ba it's barely, it's still the morning. Dear me. Alrighty, take me to... 10.30 seems good, doesn't it? Yeah. That'll let us know for sure if we can go out at night time. If you really love a particular painting you made, you should keep it for yourself. We can actually do it. You can export your paintings. Nice. All right. Let's head out. Let's see if we can get out. I don't know if we will, but it's uh, worth a shot. Ah. We appear to be getting a little bit cold. <gasps> Ooh. We have Meadow Spice Mead. Uh-huh. I can't tell if that's counteracted the cold or not. Oh, it has. We've got a timer. Okay, let's go. Sprint, 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 sprint. Oh, we should really have bought some more mead. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. When we get to about halfway, we need to head back. But otherwise, let's go for a sprint. Ah, oh, this is cool. So, nighttime is spooky, scary, freezing cold. However, we have some mead. We can peg it back home. And we can, we can use it to wander around the place. That's cool. I like that. Alrighty. Go, 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 yeah. <laughs> <gasps> There's someone up there. There's someone on the roof. Hello. Can we, can we talk quickly? Because I've got places to be and I'm freezing, apparently. <laughs> Hello. Are we loud up? There's definitely someone up there, though. Damn it, it's still locked. Can we just shout up? Hello. Echo. What are you doing that so? Oh, gosh. Ingov. Hello. Oh, dear. I must ask that you tell no one about this. Uh -huh. The information you have is already too close to uncovering the truth. I'm delivering supplies to someone who is hiding in the old tower. Uh -huh. That old tower was once used to communicate urgent messages to Nava using signal fires. Some years ago, the need for such a tower faded, and it fell to ruin. Mm -hmm. That old tower? Someone has taken up residence there. I suppose one could say this person is hiding out. They wish not to be bothered by anyone. And that's something I can relate to. Me too. It's definitely the architect, isn't this it? This person wishes to remain unknown, and I mean to respect their wishes. That's okay. I help lock it up, and only I hold the key to enter. I deliver supplies at night. Mm-hmm. Why are they hiding? I think they feel that the world of people is no place for them. I'm not sure this is the right solution. 
but the choice is not mine to make. Mm -hmm. I do hope you decide to keep this a secret. Yes. Its exposure means nothing to you and everything to the one who dwells in the town. Absolutely. We are not going to talk to one about it. Um, architect? Oh. Well, I suppose you've already connected the dots. <gasps> oh, wow. Or someone would guess it eventually. Yeah. The one who dwells in the tower is the architect of New Linda. Ah. Oh, the one who designed the beautiful it. buildings. The one who has been missing for years now. We called it. Maybe this is for the best. Perhaps it's time someone talked to him. Mm hmm And maybe it's best if it's an outsider. I think deep down, he doesn't want to be living in the tower. Mm hmm He is rash, and he is proud. Would you talk to him? Yeah. I'll leave the door unlocked for you. Thank you. Oh, wow. The one who dwells in the tower. The architect of New Linda. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is for the better. He is rash. Okay, he so we can't rash. do any more talking. Um, you talk to him? I'll leave suppose the we could off. go now. I hope the... Oh, I don't want the brew to run out. Okay. Oh, we oh, can acquire that candle. Wonderful. Oh, and that feather. Oh, and that, oh this is the way up. Hello. Who are you? How did you get in? Hello, Azad. Ingolf, let me in. I presume the old man told you why I'm here? Why I've chosen to live in this tower of solitude? Mm, yeah, I think I understand. You understand? Then, you know what it is to be an outsider your entire life? You've experienced what it is to be known for a birth anomaly? You can't possibly understand. Look at my face. It makes children cry. Before I left, I was the subject of chronic nightmares for one child. The father showed her a new route to school so she could avoid passing me. Estranged from all others in this tower, I am an outsider. But living in the town, I am an outsider all the same. At least here in my tower, I won't fuel the nightmares of children. I dedicated my life to becoming a great architect. For half a century, I labored at this. I built the city they live in. And how do the people of Lindau know me? I am the disfigured architect. The townspeople don't appreciate what I've done. They dwell in the marvel of my life's work. Mm. Someone wrote a book about you. Really? What did it say of me? It said you were pretty cool. It's about your accomplishments as an architect. So, someone's finally taken notice of my talent? Well, that is interesting. That changes everything. It's about time. <laughs> this conversation. It was almost enjoyable. <laughs> Perhaps I'll see you again. Mm -hmm. But now, I'm afraid it's late. Or early, I should say. Mm -hmm. I don't believe I invited you into my house. Technically, no. All right, can I talk to you Perhaps still? it got lost in the subtlety. <laughs> what I meant was, please, leave. That's okay. We're going to leave. All right, let's pop out of here. We need to go home, because otherwise we're not going to make it home. Uh, is there anything else we can interact with while we're in this particular room? It's cute, I like it. I mean, it's pretty... It's a small area to live in, but, yeah. Well, then. I didn't expect to uncover that secret so quickly. Look at those are learning things. Well, 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 we've learned about the architect. Um, now, we have been told to keep this a secret, so we're not going to go tell anyone about it. So I assume that's all we have left to do in this area? I don't think there's going to be much else. If, you know, if we've done the whole... I don't know, we've figured out who the architect is, so we've solved our own personal mystery. It's still 11 p.m. That's okay. Need to get back into the inn, but we've got plenty of time now. I think I think we'll be okay. We should definitely buy some more of that brew, though. Seems super useful. Oh, I love how warm everything looks when we've got the brew on. Like, inside especially. It's great. All right. Oh, that's the innkeeper. Hello. I'm just news. I thought they would sleep in that room. Ooh. Alrighty. Back to bed we go. I hope we didn't disturb anyone. Oh, 4.45 in the morning. Bit early, bit early. Let's uh, maybe extend that a little bit. 
You should get to cold at night after sunset. Exploration without a means of warmth is out of the question. So I'm assuming and are hoping that you can get a coat eventually, but for now, it's sort of, you know, you have to... You have to use the brew on cooldown to get around. That's fair. That's, that's cool. Ah. <sighs> Alrighty. Ah. I hope so. Dressing to help us explore more. Yeah. Back. Oh. Oh no. Have you spoken with him? Oh. Only briefly. He was milling about here, inspecting every architectural detail. I saw him strolling around town this morning, as if he'd never been gone. I can't believe it. Where has he been all this time? I heard he was hiding in that abandoned tower. He always was funny, that one. <laughs> He'd been missing so long, I thought the worst. I'm glad he's okay. Well then, I was... I, <laughs> I went upstairs um, last night thinking, okay, we've got a, a secret. You know, we, we have to keep it now. We have to, you know, respect this guy's wishes. And we get back and we wake up in the morning. We go downstairs and the innkeeper's like, wow, the architect's... Okay, okay. My garden is filled with all sorts of... <laughs> I guess he's back now. Good for him. That poor man. I hope he's very happy. Towers. Oh, it's probably okay, just so we don't have a new topic to talk about here. That's okay. Take care now. See you later. Oh, actually, the salt. I need to browse Certainly. some goods and get me some meadow spice mead. Seems like the good stuff. Alrighty. Ta da! Out into town. I wonder if he's around. Then can we go find him? Can we go say hello in like daylight? <laughs> Where we're not, you know, rushing through things to, just, just, you know, make sure our potion doesn't wear off or whatever. <laughs> Alrighty, where's the architect? Where's he at? Let's find him. Let's have a look, see. Wonder the bears seen him. Hello. You seem like a nice person. You don't have nope. to prank my brother if it's not your thing. Maybe I'll see you around in Nava. I'll see you later, bear friend. Well, oh, bless him. Hello. When I was a boy, mm -hmm. merchants came to Lindau with strange spices. No, it's alright. Uh, back, 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 back. See you later. Okay, look. Mm, architect, architect, architect. Has anyone seen an architect around here? I'm looking for mine. I seem to have lost him. <laughs> oh, dear. There's the child there. There's the other child there. There's that person. There's this person. My cousin is so full of... Why is the bloody architect? I've lost him. He's only just... Oh, is this where... Eh, uh, this is where he is. Ah, wonderful. This building is truly a marvel. <laughs> a masterwork of architecture it is. Mm-hmm. If you do say so yourself. You've come out of your tower. Yes. It would have been a shame to have designed such a beautiful city and not enjoy it for myself a little longer. Absolutely. You should be proud of it. I'm glad you have a, you've had a change of heart. By the way, uh -huh. I have some work for a painter like you. Mistake me not, painting is an objectively inferior art form. Mm -hmm. Especially when compared to something as functional as architecture. Mm -hmm. But in this one instance, I could use your skills. Why is everyone, like, rude to us about painting? What, what? Yeah. I'm useless, but you need me. What do you need? I've decided I'm going to move away. Oh. It pains me to think that I'll leave behind my creations. But it pains me more to think of more interactions with these wretched townspeople. <laughs> okay, so you don't I like the town people. I like the painting of this very city. Hmm. The composition should include this very town hall. Mm -hmm. The perched gazebo and the inn. Okay. I'll paint it. If you hesitate too long, I'll just find someone else. You painters are a glowstone a dozen. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's not a great guy to work for. Um, dear me. That's cool. I like that as a challenge. you got to, like, frame the shop properly to get all these things in. That's cool. All right, let's do it. I'm into it. Imagine hugging Bear Friend. Oh, my goodness. I would love to hug Bear Friend. That sounds amazing. That sounds really cool. Oh, dear me, Ollie. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so Gazebo Town Hall and Damn, I'm stuck on some stairs Gazebo Town Hall and The Inn Ah, here might work Yeah, can we go back a bit do you think? Sort of over here this way Hello Roots, don't mind the video 
Oh, we could do it from here, couldn't we? Yeah. I like that, but I'm not sure if I like having all the wall in it. Let's see. Let's have a look around here. See if we can angle ourselves properly. This is good. I like this. I like this. I'm feeling happy with it. Make it as big as possible. Because we want the we want him to remember it well, you know? I'm sure he could come back for a visit or whatever, you know, but... Let's wait until the town people get out of the way, because he doesn't like those. <laughs> I like it too. Yeah, I'm glad. Thank you. Alrighty. And... Paint. Hell yeah. That's not bad. Not bad at all. I wonder if he likes it. He probably will. He just probably won't tell us that. <laughs> oh, dear. The painting of my city. Mm-hmm. Off a painting. It's splendid. Truly. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. And I should also mm, thank you for before. I'm glad you visited me in my town. Mm -hmm. I'd like some time to myself. This is indeed a special place. And I'd like to enjoy it as much as possible before I go. Okay. Have have a good time. Thanks for everything. Okay, that's all. He's gonna. <laughs> I need some time to myself. This is indeed a special place. And I'd like to soak it in as much as possible before I leave. Yeah. Oh. This is a special place. Well then, we have just acquired 40 more glowstones, so now we have 106. Plenty of glowstones. What quests have we got in this area? We've done the fish... Oh, we've done all of these. The only one we've currently got still is the Mother's Last Wishes one again. Well then. We've been live for approximately 1 hour and 58 minutes, which is close enough to 2 hours for me. <laughs> ah, wow. This game's great. I'm really enjoying it. This is it's so calm and relaxing and it's it's, it's a lovely exploration game and it, it's not particularly plain and simple and just bright and cheery and nothing else. There are, you know, undertones and story and all the sort of stuff. But it's nice. The game, it's not too intense, you know? Yeah, I like that. It's not too intense. It's very relaxing, very calming. You, you just sort of, you walk around, you craft things, you paint things. It's very comforting. It is. That's the perfect way of putting it. It's a very comforting game. I like it a lot. I really do. After a long, stressful day, to just go paint. I know, right? It sounds wonderful, doesn't it? Well, as wonderful as it is, I think we're going to have to end, end the stream now. Um, thank you all for coming. It was lovely to play this game with you all. Uh, I'm going to alt-tab now, and that's going to completely break the uh, game soundtrack, which is sad, and I'm sorry. Actually, do you know what? Because it's going to do that, I'm just going to leave it. We're just going to leave it for now. Um, yeah, thank you all for coming. It was lovely to have you all. Go get some sleep. I will be doing that, yes. Um, potentially having a day out tomorrow, which is very exciting. We are going to go to a little museum. Mm. Um, but yes, I hope you all have uh, a lovely time for the rest of your day, the rest of your time zone. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week if I don't see you. Uh, I'm going to alt-tab now. Sorry, BGM. Um, press this button here. Oh, this button here first. The schedule for this week. We're getting through it. We're halfway through it now. Um, Monday, Tuesday, done. Next scheduled stream is Friday. I'm not sure what we're going to be playing. It might be some more of this, it might be some more ESO, it might be... Heaven knows, goodness knows, it could be anything. I have not a clue. <laughs> but that's the next schedule stream. Um, I am off work all of this week, so there's a chance I might stream... Well, not tomorrow, tomorrow's going to be busy. <laughs> uh, there's a chance I might stream um, on Thursday. I don't know, I'll find out. I'll, I'll, I'll let you all know if I do, but otherwise I'll see you all on hopefully Friday. Or if not, I'll see you on Saturday hopefully, because it's my birthday. I'm going to have a birthday stream, I'm going to have a little... A little party on my Animal Crossing Island, going to invite people over, it's going to be nice. And then I might be really self-indulgent and just play some Spyro or something, it'll be great, it'll be great. <laughs> Alrighty then, I've waited on way too long. Thank you all for watching, what a lovely little game this was. 
It was an absolute joy to play it with you all. Um, you two in the visit tomorrow if you go. Yay, it'll be good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, most likely this Friday, I have a game of Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that sounds exciting. I hope it goes really well. Hell yeah. That sounds amazing. I've never played D&D, &D, but you know what? I hope it goes good for you. That's amazing. All right. Thank you all for watching. I'm going to disappear now to sleep. Um, you're all wonderful, wonderful people, and I will hopefully see you around later.